Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at the pairing axiom, A4. Now, as we proved previously with only axioms 1 through 3, V, the universe, might just be the class of the null set. But since that was a pretty boring universe, we might want to add an axiom that expands the requirements of our universe a bit. Note that with 1 through 3, there's a wide range of different classes which could be the universe, but we haven't put enough requirements on it to actually nail it down to what the universal class is. To do this, we're going to use the pairing axiom, which basically states that if a class has two members, both of which are sets, then that class is itself a set. In other words, if A is a set and B is a set, then the set of A and B is a set. Without this axiom, we can't show that the universe is more than just the class of the null set. This has quite a few interesting implications that we're going to look at in this video and the next couple of videos. First, remember from the last video that the set of A and A is identical to the set A, based on our definition of curly brackets and extensionality. This means that the set of the null set is a set, since the null set is a set. By the pairing axiom, the null set and the null set is a set. The set of the null set and the null set is a set. And by looking at the definition of curly brackets, we can see that the set of the null set is identical to the set of the null set and the null set. Another way to state this is to say that for all sets X and Y, which are members of V by definition being sets, there exists some other set Z, which and therefore a member of V, which is by definition the set of X and Y. Or in other words, for all X and for all Y, X is a member of V and Y is a member of V, so X and Y are sets, implies that there exists some Z such that Z is identical to the set of X and Y and Z is a member of V. In proofs, this will be referred to just simply as axiom four. So basically we're saying that if X is a set and Y is a set, then there exists some set Z, which is just X comma Y. Up next, in the next two videos, we will do proofs of the claims that we have made but have not shown that a the set of A and A is just equal to the set of A and that the set of A equals the set of B is materially equivalent to A equals B. If you want to practice on your own, try to prove those two statements for all A and all B. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.